Hi, you got Sprecher and Shu, your industrial motor control consultant here, giving you some insight on our CA7 series contactors. So what we have are four different frame sizes that cover your needs of either it be a motor or a heater. If it were a motor for an inductive perspective, you know, we've got the ability to cover 15 horsepower in this frame size contactor. And as you graduate up into the largest CA7, hey, we can cover up to 75 horsepower. So that's a, a nice coverage from the frame. Of the, the characteristics of these contactors, if you look at the smallest frame contactor, it looks like a four pole contactor, but in fact, it is a three pole contactor, L1, L, L2, L3, th the three power poles, and then to the far right, is an auxiliary embedded, integrated into the contactor, so you have an auxiliary potential on this smaller frame. As you get larger, hey, we're just in a regular three-pole contactor, so for the need of an auxiliary, you're either adding a one-pole, two-pole to the side, or a two-pole, four-pole auxiliary to the front, so that's how that works on the bigger ones. Uh, in regards to, hey, what are the uh, the, the characteristic, the features that are nice about Sprecher and Shoe Contactors is that, hey, if there's a field issue on the coil and you need to replace the coil, we've got the ability to replace coils. And hey, before I do that, I wanted to show you in a default situation when we ship the contactor, the A1, A2 coil access is on the line side on the top. Because in convention, what you're doing is you're taking an overload relay and you're typically putting it on the bottom and can direct connecting to the bottom. And if that were the case, you wouldn't want your A1, A2 up there. It's right there. However, alternatively, if, uh, if you wanted upstream branch circuit protection using an MPCB motor protection circuit breaker, hey, well then I would want this device on the top. Well, if I need that type, I need to have A1, A2 on the bottom. And what we're gonna do is there are two metal clasps on the inside of the contactor. I'm merely prying off the metal clasp of the plastic molding. And what that does is allow you to remove the contactor head. You gotta maintain this spring. It allows you to lift up the coil and you can turn it 180 degrees to the bottom side, place the coil back in there. Spring back on top, replacing the contactor head in the same fashion, prying the metal clasp over the top of the plastic molding. And now what that does is allow me to put an MPCB with a direct connect connector. And now I've got a combination starter in that fashion. So just some of the nice features that we have of our CA7 series, four frame sizes covering all your industrial motor needs within that range, really nice product. We hope to hear from you and uh, provide you that consultation that you need on motor controls. Thank you.